Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase and this is All Things Room. Today we are building the most complicated watch display in the world. Yes, I know that's a little clickbaity. Is it the most complicated watch stand in the world or display? Honestly, I think so. This is an empty box because I already built it. And I can tell you that it took, just a slight preview, it took nearly four days and probably an hour to an hour and a half of each one of those days just assembling this. I can tell you that this is needlessly complicated. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you a quick unboxing, then a extremely fast build because you don't need to sit through four hours of building. So it'll be maybe a minute, non-narrated. You guys can just watch it. And then we will go over the review at the very end. Now the, now the stand also came with a Smalley watch, which is sort of like a Chinese homage to a G-Shock and that I will review on a later video but this thing is basically one of the coolest things ever and you know before we hop into it I did buy it on Amazon not affiliated with Amazon at all and it was about 130 bucks but I can tell you that I think that was worth it compared to similar products on the market that go for 450 to 500 bucks so again let's just hop into the build and then I'll see you when we're done Okay, so this was ordered on Amazon and it came straight from China. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what's inside and then I'll build this thing. Now I know this came with a watch because it asked me what color I'd prefer. Now this is gonna take some assembly clearly, but it comes with Everything nice and neatly packaged. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Now, this watch stand was not cheap by any means. And it wasn't cheap by, I wanna say it was $130. Now, these were popular, I wanna say, a couple years ago, but you can't seem to find them anywhere. So I'm not sure exactly the type of quality that this is, but we're gonna go through. We'll do a quick build. Here's the watch that came with. It came with a, a Smalley with a smalley so maybe i'll do a review on that later
Now, what are my feelings about this mechanized little bot that is just honestly one of the coolest things ever. Now, as I was building that, like I said, it was needlessly complicated. So complicated, it was ridiculous. In fact, I don't even understand why they had it built in sp on a specific way. It's like some guy in China was like, look, I have all, I have a thousand of these random parts. How can I build a tiny little robot display that may be popular? And they sat down and they were like, hey, um, we can use these for this. And even though every, if everything wasn't labeled as well as it was and separated in its own little bags, it would have taken a hundred times longer, thank God. Now I am looking at one of the higher quality $450 ones that is far less detailed, but we'll see if the quality is any better. That hopefully I can get by the end of next month. Again, that's out of my own dime, so it's really important that you guys subscribe, hit the bell notification, hit that like so that it promotes the video, more views can be had, and then I can get some more Google AdSense or whatever to actually be able to get stuff like this to review for you. Because honestly, I was really apprehensive about getting this, and then I got it and I was like, okay, let me, let me build it. And still there are some negative things about this. An example is, they don't use the correct type of washers. They just use basic washers. And they use some plastic washers here and some steel washers there and this and that and these little bits and bobs to make it work. And honestly, the issue is, is the more and more you move it around. So there are different points of, of articulation. Like I can move the fingers, I can move the wrist, I can move the elbow. But the more and more you move it, the more and more you have to go back in with a tool and reseat everything because even though some of these washers are locking washers, they don't, they lock, but they don't stay tight, right? If you understand what I'm saying. So you can move things around, but the issue is it doesn't stay that way. So the more you move it around, the looser it gets, the more you have to go back and retighten it, which isn't a big deal. If you're like, hey, I really like the way this is standing, I'm just gonna leave it like this and change out the watch, you don't have to move it ever again. Right, but if you're like, hey, you know, I want this guy to have a little bit more flair on the, to scream up to the sky, Stada! then you know, eventually the things are going to loosen out. You got to re, you're going to have to go back in and retighten everything. Honestly, not really a big deal for me, especially not with the price point comparatively to every other one on the market, because the company that made these several years ago doesn't, they don't seem to be making them anymore. And if you can go through a Chinese third party and be put on a list or whatever for something that costs 200 bucks, or you can get something that's 130 bucks, it's more rugged, it's more detailed, it's more mechanized looking. But I do like the other one also. I do like the less hardcore. I like the one that just comes in a box. And you know, I've seen plenty of pictures of them like displaying different things and you know, it's just, it seems easier. So I want to get one because honestly, I've wanted one for a long time and this sort of fills a gap. Again, I'm going to go ahead and do a review on the, the Smalley G-Shock homage uh, in the future. But honestly, from now on, when I review a watch in the future, it is going to be setting back here as an Easter egg for the upcoming things. And I will be displaying it on my little robot from here on out. If you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see on this channel. I have a video releasing in two days. Again, it only took, normally I'm trying to get a video out every two to three days. It took five days because it took nearly four days just to build that thing. So I will be having more videos in the future. I am recording a video tomorrow, releasing it the next day, Re recording another video the next day and releasing it the next day. So make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I drop that next video. Until next time.